What is going on everyone? The Daily Drive episode number 11 coming at you today. Let's go ahead and warm up the car. Hope you guys checked out yesterday's video. It was pretty, pretty interesting one. Uh, we talked about the Fast and the Furious. I'll leave a card on the screen right now so you can take that, uh, so you can check that out. And yeah, it was pretty cool uh, talking about my favorite Fast and Furious movies and things like that, ranking them. So be sure you check that out. As for today, we are finally going to go ahead and give the car a wash. I inserted a clip in yesterday's video about the state of the car. You can see here real quick, super filthy, super dirty, got bird shit all over the thing. So um, I was going to take it to my local car wash, uh, but I, I just can't bring myself to do it. I just know that it's going to get scratched up. So I figured that we just go ahead and go to a detail center. Uh, another big reason why I'm starting my company, Omega Car Care. If you guys have been following the series, you see that I put in uh, some ads uh, for <laughs> me, me talking about Omega Car Care. Um, and that's been a big issue. Like, okay, so I don't know about where you guys live. I know that in California and some of the hotter areas, it's a lot easier to find a detailer. But I was searching a detailer in, in my area, in New York, uh, on Google and every time I search up detailer or mobile detailer or, or, or even just like a detail place to go to um, I'm always brought to a Yelp link that says like top 10 detailers and most of the time it's not even detailers it's just a car wash um, even when I typed in like self-serve car wash a lot of them just aren't I, I don't know like the the algorithm whatever whatever results get back to me from Yelp or from uh, what else from like um, just Google search is just not accurate so this is a big big part of the reason why I decided to start Omega Car Care just to make a huge directory of detailers of mechanics of tuners so that you go to the website you know exactly who to search for you know who is on the platform and you can find them and you can choose between either mobile services or storefront so that's been a pretty big frustration of mine for the last 24 hours or so just trying to find someone um, so instead we're gonna go to where my fiance gets her car done and they do have a detail center where they do do uh, I, I think they do ceramic coating I know they do like waxing and stuff so we're gonna get uh, an idea of their pricing and see what that's gonna look like so give me a moment let me just go ahead and type them into a GPS here All right, I think we're ready to go. Okay, so my concern is that, and, and this this goes for like anything now, now that I have a manual car. When I'm gonna go ahead and hand over the keys to somebody and they're gonna drive it, nine times out of 10, I'm thinking this person doesn't know how to drive manual. So it, it, might, be, it might be an experience. So we'll see how that goes, but Oh, hold up. There is a topic I wanted to discuss with you guys today. Actually, you know what? I think we'll save that for tomorrow's video instead. Today's we're just going to focus on the wash and things like that. I am also going to go out later after the wash when the car is clean and film another kind of like commercial. <laughs> so, oh, damn, I took the wrong turn. Oh, well. Uh, yeah, we're going to film another commercial for the channel for Omega Car Care because I want to bring some some fresh ads to you guys. I don't want it to always be the same thing and then you get really tired of it. But yeah, oh yeah, today our parts came in. So we mentioned that we picked up the Perrin shifter stop. Uh, what that is basically it's a it's a component that makes the first and second gear gates. So if this is the gate and this is first and this is second, um, there's a bit of slop going to the left right so it's basically cleaning that slop up a little bit and okay <laughs> yeah so it's basically cleaning that slop up a little bit and what you can do too once you take off the um, the shift knob and the boot over here you can adjust the gate that's on the right side so there is a one that comes with the vehicle like a standard one for the right side but then this left one is just an additional one. So, so yeah, it'll basically allow us to, uh, I guess, tighten up the clearances 
on the shifter, right? So I don't know if you could see over here, but yeah. So basically, when you go into first gear, right? I'm in first gear right now. Look at all this slop to the side. And even in second gear, ton of slop, ton of play when I'm pushing it over to the left. So that's basically going to eliminate that. And then same thing for fifth and sixth. Fifth and sixth is a little bit tighter, but yeah, we definitely want to eliminate that. Super inexpensive. Got it for $25 from a uh, parent branded one from uh, Image Import Racing. So thank you to them for that. I'm going to go ahead and install that a little bit later today. And then what's the other thing? The other thing is, oh uh, yeah, the F1 style brake light. So there's a brand called Noble, and we got it from them. So we're going to go ahead and install that. I don't know what is happening over here. These guys, DOT has just been blocking the street over here for a few days. Um, oh, wow, it says 11 minutes to get there. That's not bad at all. Um, so, yeah. So we got the F1 style brake light. It's a plug and play kit, so there isn't any sort of splicing involved or soldering or anything like that. So very direct, I could just pop out the little plastic piece that's already on the car and just install that. So really excited about that. It's gonna be super easy to install. Oh man, and they're just not gonna let us go here. Oh, okay. Thank you, sir. Appreciate you. You're the man. What are you doing? Go! Jesus Christ, bro. What did I say when I started this series? It's probably going to evolve into just a me getting frustrated with New York Drivers compilation. And yeah, yeah, you're getting a bit of a glimpse of that right now. Uh, but yeah, I'm excited to put this light on. I actually saw an STI drive by my place the other day with one. And it looked really sweet, actually. It looked, it looked really cool. So I'm excited to get that to get that going. What, what is happening? This person does not know how to drive, bro. Okay, so first time actually, I think merging onto the highway with this car. Because every time we go to work, yeah, we do hit a highway. But but I'm uh, it's usually like slow traffic, so we might get to experience a little bit of faster speeds here for once. So yeah, fifth gear there is still a little bit sloppy. I'm still using that the method of like turning my palm away even for six gear but it does kind of bog a little bit which like I don't know why like second to third third to fourth doesn't do that those are just like so crispy and smooth and fifth fourth to fifth and fifth to sixth still kind of does that a little bit so I don't know if I am just letting go of the clutch a little too fast but who knows this video is brought to you by Omega Car Care, your number one source for local automotive services. Whether you're looking for an automotive mechanic, tuner, or detailer, Omega Car Care is the spot for you. Right now, Omega Car Care is in the process of hiring automotive professionals, so if you are an automotive professional looking for work, be sure to check it out. From February 1st to 3rd, we're gonna be in Orlando, Florida at the Mobile Tech Expo. It'll be a three-day event with all different types of professionals from the detailing industry. So if you wanna come by and say hello, come stop by our booth. Be sure to come check us out, and we look forward to seeing you. That's omegacarcare.com. All right, let's get out of the rain. But yeah, we're leaving at a good time to do this. Everyone's pretty much at work right now. It is Friday. It's 11.30 right now. So great time to do that. I, I tend to get my errands done, uh, not at the, the ass crack of dawn, but a little bit later, uh, just to know that people are at work uh, if it's during the week, because my off days are during the week. It's Thursdays and Fridays. So I kind of have to time that with everybody else's schedule, um, which I don't mind. Um, I do like to get my my big tasks out of the way earlier in the day but it is what it is so yeah so hope you guys enjoy this cruising footage the car feels really smooth right now uh, they, I think they recently paved over here and because we did switch over to those Michelin all-season tires it, uh, it feels pretty good but we do have quite a bit of traffic on the way back but whatever that's my problem <laughs> you guys don't have to see any of that uh, we are going to try and hit the gym later today uh, with my fiance, which is exciting because we don't usually get to spend enough time together when it comes to the gym stuff. She belongs to another gym. I belong to a local one that I've been going to for a few years now. And they do have boxing equipment, which is one of the, the biggest reasons why I go there. Um, there's other gyms in my area that I've been going to previously that is just like standard, like like machines and weights and things like that and, and cardio equipment. but 
with the boxing equipment too, I feel like I can just get so much more done. It just adds that extra element where if there are days where I'm too fatigued to hit the weights, I can just hit the bag and things are just just a lot better for me. Like I, I like to have that option. Let's check out this person. Oh yeah, this person is like 85 years old, the one that was trying to merge before. But you know, that's fine. Kudos to you, you're still driving, but yeah, that was dangerous. But yeah, liking the gym. So yeah, we're gonna go with her later. Gonna give her a couple of uh, boxing lessons. We often hit the mitts together. Sometimes I wear like a, a chest protector, kind of like midsection protector. So she could take a couple shots and we go vice versa. When she wears it, obviously I can't tee off on her and go too hard, um, but we have that too. And the gym does have a heavy bag. They used to have a speed bag, it doesn't work anymore. I tried to actually buy the attachment myself and just keep it in my gym bag and whenever I come I can just attach it, but it's such a specific attachment on like a more niche boxing brand. Like it's not like a title or anything or ring sport or ring uh, ringside, so so yeah, so just, I'm gonna be without the speed bag, but that's okay. At least we still get a decent amount of, of conditioning in. So I'm really excited about that. And tomorrow we got work. Tomorrow's the weekend, we got work. I think today too, what I'm gonna do is, um, so for our mega car care, I actually signed up for a conference to go to in February. And it's basically gonna be like a detailers conference where uh, detailers from the area, are gonna be attending and we each have like our own booth and table and they're gonna be marketing their products right so I'm gonna be marketing Omega Car Care trying to get them to sign up to use the platform and um, yeah I'm pretty hype about that so just to get a little bit of traffic going on the website we're still very very new we have a, a completed product it's a beta product but we haven't really had any users yet so that's gonna be um, my opportunity to recruit professionals on there and then once we saturate that that department then we can start inviting customers to actually use our services and you know go through with the entirety of the process so really happy about that can't wait to get that going it is you know it, it comes with the territory the, like the cost comes with the territory this is not a cheap conference to attend but this is something that as a business owner I'm gonna have to just keep doing um, yeah th that's what it is if I wanted to keep growing that's what I gotta keep doing so I will keep you guys posted and I'll get uh, I'll check in with you guys as soon as the car is cleaned all right you guys so they seem to have done a pretty good job I'm gonna throw up some clips right now of what exactly they did and it's basically like a wax with interior as well it's supposed to be like shampoo and carpets but I didn't have them do that because uh, yeah, carpets are pretty much new. The only thing I had them do was take care of the uh, the weather liners. So the driver's side weather liner needed to be cleaned for sure, and I'm the only one who gets in this car, so we had them do that. And it looks much, much better, as you guys can see in this video right now. But yeah, we're gonna go do a little bit of filming now, so I'll catch you guys in a minute again. Take a look real quick, guys. So much cleaner, look at that. They managed to get all the bird poop off. Some of it was really kicked on there I'm just gonna give it a quick inspection real quick yeah I don't feel any like rough surfaces like there was a bunch of bird poop over here I mean it did just rain too so it's a little bit harder to tell oh they left this open oh well not a big deal the roof too the roof is pretty caked but that looks solid man and where was the oh yeah right over here on the A pillar we had a pretty bad stain but yeah, they were able to remove that as well. And it was such a quick and like seamless process too. Like I was waiting for them to really take their time with it, but I mean, they did it pretty quickly. Yeah, they missed a little bit over here, but not a big deal, whatever, that's on the light. As long as nothing's on the paint, I'm okay with it. But yeah, we're gonna take a little towel and clean that up. If you guys liked today's video, thank you so much for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care now, peace.